belly fat is more than a nuisance that makes your clothes feel tight. It's seriously harmful. Belly fat is associated with many health issues and diseases, such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and cancer. Specifically, it's the deepest layer of belly fat that poses health risks. That's because these visceral fat cells actually produce hormones and other substances that can affect your health. Though losing fat from this area can be difficult, there are several things you can do to reduce excess abdominal fat. How much belly fat do you have? The most precise way to determine how much visceral fat you have is to get a CT scan or MRI. But there's a much simpler, low-cost way to check. Get a measuring tape, wrap it around your waist at your belly button, and check your girth. Do it while you're standing up, and make sure the tape measure is level. For your health sake, you want your waist size to be less than 35 inches if you're a woman and less than 40 inches if you're a man. Having a pear shape, bigly pointing to with the apple versus pear. Hairston says, is that, if you have more abdominal fat, it's probably an indicator that you have more visceral fat. Thin people have it, too. Even if you're thin, you can still have too much visceral fat. How much you have is partly about your genes, and partly about your lifestyle, especially how active you are. Visceral fat likes inactivity. In one study, thin people who watched their diets but didn't exercise were more likely to have too much visceral fat. The key is to be active, no matter what size you are. I will be giving you 20 effective steps to lose belly fat permanently. Step 1. Avoid foods that contain trans fats. Trans fats are created by pumping hydrogen into unsaturated fats, such as soybean oil. These fats have been linked to inflammation, heart disease, insulin resistance and abdominal fat gain in observational and animal studies. A six-year study found that monkeys who ate a high trans fat diet gained 33% more abdominal fat than those eating a diet high in monounsaturated fat. Step 2, accept that your behaviors will adjust. A big part of weight loss is simply being aware of the decisions you're making. For example, when out at happy hour with friends, you may lose track of how much you're eating or drinking. But if you take a split second to step back and become aware of that fact, you're able to course correct. The awareness and then planning for what else I can be doing, that might give me the same benefit of eating comfort foods, says Gagliardi. Step 3, eat more fiber. Foods that are high in refined carbs and sugar don't actually tame your hunger, so you end up reaching for more. Instead, eat more fibrous foods like whole grain breads, oats, vegetables, fruits, beans, legumes, and chia seeds. They fill you up more, says Dr. Cheskin, as fiber helps slow your digestion. A 2015 study from the Annals of Internal Medicine showed that for those who have a hard time following a strict diet, simplifying the weight loss approach by just increasing fiber intake can still lead to weight loss. Women should aim for at least 25 grams of fiber per day, based on a 2000. Start with our high fiber diet plan. Step 4. Reduce your stress levels. Stress can make you gain belly fat by triggering the adrenal glands to produce cortisol, also known as the stress hormone. Research shows that high cortisol levels increase appetite and drive abdominal fat storage. What's more, women who already have a large waist tend to produce more cortisol in response to stress. Increased cortisol further adds to fat gain around the middle. To help reduce belly fat, engage in pleasurable activities that relieve stress. Practicing yoga or meditation can be effective methods. Here are some stress-relieving activities that in turn can help you reduce belly fat. A take a hot bath b start a new book c color in a stress relieving coloring book e write in a journal step 5 walk every day if you don't have an established exercise routine walking is a pretty good entry point for people says gagliardi one small study published in the Journal of Exercise Nutrition and Biochemistry found that obese women who did a walking program for 50 to 70 minutes three days per week for 12 weeks significantly slashed their visceral fat compared to a sedentary control group. Even if your starting point is a one-minute walk, if that's more than what you've been doing, there's health benefits to that, says Gagliardi. One of the biggest mistakes people make when trying to lose weight is that they try to do too much too soon and get burnt out. Starting slow and working your way up is better than overdoing it and giving up, says Gagliardi. An easy way to approach it, commit to going for a quick 10-minute walk after dinner, and slowly increase the time as you become more comfortable with daily movement. Step 6. Drink plenty of water. 
Studies suggest that consistently drinking water throughout the day can lead to a more active metabolism, regardless of dieting. Drinking more water also helps your body flush out waste toxins and improves your overall health. Aim to drink an 8 oz glass of water 8 times per day, or 64 ounces total. Carry a water bottle so that you can drink whenever you feel thirsty. Know how to tell when you're sufficiently hydrated. You'll know you're drinking enough water when your urine runs light yellow or almost clear. If it's darker than a post-it note, drink more. Significantly reduce alcohol, sugary drinks like sweet tea, Cool Aid, fruit punch, fruit juice, Coke, 7-Up, and Pepsi, and carbonated beverages. Step 7. Getting enough rest. It gained less visceral fat over 5 years compared to those who slept 5 or fewer hours per night or 8 or more hours per night. Sleep may not have been the only thing that mattered, but it was part of the picture. Step 8. Eat foods that burn belly fat fast. When it comes to weight loss, your diet is more important than exercise, and for losing belly fat, you need the right foods to help you reduce belly fat and reduce belly bloat. In this section we will share how to lose stomach fat by adding ingredients to your diet. 10 Belly Fat Burning Foods 1. Pepper The hotter the better, hot peppers such as chili peppers, jalapenos, even cayenne powder help increase fat loss and stave off hunger and they also give you a healthy dose of metabolism-boosting vitamin C. 2. Egg High in lean protein, eggs will help keep your cravings in check, so you will eat less and lose belly fat faster. Some studies have even shown that eating healthy proteins will actually help you lose belly weight. 3. Beans When it comes to foods to eat to lose belly fat, beans are nature's gift to mankind because of their nutritional balance. They have the perfect amount of carbs and protein and they keep you full for hours. Black beans, kidney, lentils, garbanzo, and cannellini are all good choices. 4. Avocados. We really love avocados here at Lose Weight by Eating. They are full of fiber, which is fantastic for weight loss and oh so good for you. This healthy fat will actually tell your body to release fat. 8. Enjoy one half an avocado a day for best results. 5. Coconut. Coconut is another healthy fat that tells your body to release unwanted belly fat. Try adding coconut water or coconut milk to your morning smoothie, swap out cooking with butter for coconut oil. 6. Citrus Fruit Citrus fruit is another big metabolism booster and great for losing belly fat, so much good for you vitamin C and so easy to work into your diet. Squeeze some lemon, lime, orange, or all three fruits into your water and sip all day. Enjoy an orange instead of your sugary snack, or a grapefruit when you crave sour candy. 7. Berries. Another metabolism-boosting ingredient, berries are packed full of vitamin C and fiber. Studies have shown that fiber helps raise your metabolism and helps you shed belly fat fast. Blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, and cranberries are good choices when looking to lose belly fat. Step 9. Consider your monthly cycle. Your monthly cycle also plays a huge part in weight loss and losing belly fat. From the wicked chocolate cravings to less sleep and more stress, plus we tend to weigh a good 5 to 10 pounds more in that week. Cut yourself some slack and plan ahead. Allow yourself a few squares of dark chocolate each day, expect to weigh a little more and don't be discouraged when you step on the scale, heck just put that thing away for a week. Hormonal changes at in women throughout the month can result in temporary weight gain, especially in the belly area. Step 10. Don't skip meals. Skipping even one meal can lower your ability to lose belly fat. I know you think by skipping a meal you are consuming fewer calories and therefore the weight should come off faster, but it will make weight loss that much harder. So stop skipping meals and just eat smarter. My conclusion is that, you might be eager to lose belly fat to look and feel better, or because your doctor told you it was time to take better care of yourself. Either way, you can reduce belly fat without any fancy equipment or memberships. Simply take a good hard look at your diet, make a few modifications you can stick with and get your body moving. Not sure where you stand on diet? Write down everything you eat this week, then compare it to the list above and see where you could have made better choices. Don't beat yourself up though, learning how to lose stomach fat fast is a process. Simply find areas to improve and work on them next week. Lastly, be kind to yourself. Weight loss is hard enough, putting yourself down certainly does not help. Celebrate the wins, but don't focus on mistakes. 
Tomorrow is a new day.